What is up guys? Welcome back to another DCS video. Today, um, well, as you can see, not the greatest in conditions here. Um, this whole premise of this video was kind of sparked by uh, kind of what's going on in real life here. And uh, we got a P3 over there, uh, piloted by some NOAA guys. And we're going to be escorting them through a uh, somewhat hostile environment. We're just going to make believe here that Cuba is... Um, well, let's just say they're not very uh, friendly with the U.S. right now, but we can uh, make believe that this is like, I don't know, Key West or something, or maybe uh, Mac Dill or something. But anyways, um, let's get started here. Before we get ahead of ourselves, we're going to obviously use an ILS approach into here. So we just hit our ILS button here. We're going to go down to the dauber down, change our ILS frequency to 10990, enter. Boom, we can already hear the ILS uh, frequency there. Markers are audible. I'm going to go down here on our course in its magnetic 068. We'll do 68 enter. Boom. And that'll be reflected down here. We can also bring that up and we get the localizer and glide slope. Uh, other than that, I think we are good to go here. Let's uh, escort this P3 here. Uh, the Hurricane Hunters. And these guys can get what they're collecting for data for this uh, hurricane approaching. And, uh, yeah, should be a pretty straightforward mission here. Looks like those guys are on the roll. After uh, well, going through Hurricane Ian down here in Florida, which was not very fun, uh, this next storm here coming up, um, Hurricane Idalia, could make believe that, uh, well, this is it right here, so. These guys are in the upwind, I can barely see them, but they are. Controls are free and correct. One thing I'm going to do too though is I am going to double check here. Everything is on. I'm going to put my uh, HMD on there just so I don't forget. We are good to go. Your speed's alive. Rotate. Here's coming up. And we will just follow our boy out of here. Got our right MFD soy. And add a burner. And we'll just keep tabs on them. And into the soup we go. Probably gonna climb to uh, between 16 and 26,000 feet, depending on what these guys are uh, looking for right here. Reading uh, barometric pressures and dropping sonar buoys and whatnot. Turn our master on here as well. A 
breaking through that cloud layer as we speak. On the climb. Let's see further out we got relatively nothing. Uh, we do, however, have our two waypoints I marked there just for our airbase. Don't have attack in at the base, so easiest way to get around that is just to put a uh, waypoint on it. Can't really fly much slower than this. So we're picking up a uh, MiG-29 here on the RWR. Not liking that. This guy must be pretty far out too. I'm not picking him up on the radar. Looks like our uh, P3 buddies here just started their first uh, turn here. Really collecting a lot of data. We're up at about 13,000 feet. Not currently getting our butts kicked just yet. Keep an eye on that MiG though. Looks like is uh, more than just a MiG-29 at this point, so that's not good. We have not technically flown over Cuban airspace, so I'm not quite sure why they'd be scrambling. But I'm not liking that. Yep, and there's another MiG-23. Alright, I might uh, say adios here to our P-3. Breaking off. See you on the other side here. Hopefully, you guys collect your uh, weather information. Alright, now we're going to switch to air to air mode. Get our AIM 120s uh, selected here. Just not seeing them though. Must be out quite far. No idea what altitude they're at. Nothing. So, this should be fun. Ah, alright, here we go. Thirty nautical miles. Thirteen thousand feet. These guys, uh, well, let's just say they should not be this close to American airspace, so because we are well within our limits. Technically, we're in international airspace, but now he's locking, so that is also not good. I'm gonna Fox 3 on this guy because he's just aggressing right for us. Yep. There it is. Alright, Fox 3. Going evasive. This is going to go pit bull. Hopefully, it finds its target. Somebody at 24,000 up here. 25,000. I 
then we get someone else at 20,000. Burn towards the mirror. Decently close to him. Is this guy? Looks like he's diving away. There he is, right there. Come on. Give me tune. Just getting my butt kicked in the clouds here. Let's reassess the situation here. I do not like that whatsoever. Uh, hmm. Switch back to our. Ooh, those guys are right next to our uh, P3 here. That's not good. Not good at all. Down to 300 feet. Three thousand feet, rather. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Two thousand feet. I'm going to Fox Three on this guy. Down to one thousand feet. Now I see guns. Ooh, splash. Uh, looks like a MiG-23. Alright, that is sketchy. Oh boy. Alright, we need to uh, just turn home here, boys. This hurricane, I'm sorry. This ain't worth it. Already expended two uh, AMRAMs and... We got... Uh, yep, more bogeys out here, unfortunately. Turn towards these guys. Our uh, Hurricane Hunter boys should be on their way back home. But knowing them, they're probably not. Alright, let's see what we got here. Right MFT soy. Make 
123 dead ahead, according to the RWR. I'm just not seeing anything. Nothing on the radar. Hurricane hunters are at 5,000 feet. I'm gonna stay up here at 14,000. This is kind of a good medium range altitude, I feel. Take inventory here. Eh, I see you guys. Alright, so we got one AIM-9X and two AIM-120s. Switch back to our right MFD. Yeah, I'm not seeing these guys at all on radar. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. He sees me though. Aha, uh -huh, I see you too. There's two of them? Interesting. Box three. Got to go evasive as well. Miss is going to go pit bull. Watching our altimeter. See something out there. What is that? Looks like smoke. <laughs> Don't know how I see that through these clouds, but okay. I'm gonna assume it's gonna be a splash on that guy. Splash one, make 23, I believe. Let's see if we can climb back up here above the clouds and get another radar lock. Not picking up anything on the RWR though, so that is good. Still nothing on the radar either. Kind of spoiled after uh, getting used to the F-15 with such a beastly radar. These guys out here should be our P-3. We can uh, just double check here. We just got confirmation that that is our uh, P3 out there, according to the, uh, yep, there we go. Yep, so it turns out that that is our P3. Just wasn't getting a good, uh, solid IFF on him. Anyways, uh, RWR is clean. I don't think we uh, have any more bogeys out here. We also scrambled an AWACS in the air, so should be getting a good painted picture here, if there is any, so... We are bingo fuel, so we are out of here. I think our job is done. Um, yeah, we expended basically everything except those two uh, missiles on the side there. Let's uh, now fight the weather and make in for uh, ILS approach into runway uh, 7. Just to use that waypoint there as a nav aid. Not that you ever should, because that really is no excuse. But, uh, there's no direct two flying a heading, but we can just make believe that we are, uh, flying a vector to an approach here and following a plate into, uh, runway seven. So, anyways, I'll see you guys in a little bit here. We'll catch the localizer and glide slope, all that good stuff, and, uh, yeah. guys we are getting moderately close here we're starting to fly over some of the islands that are outer lying on our main island here descending down here to intercept the localizer okay, everything situated here course of 068 
We're still picking up that ILS Morse code uh, identifier or markers. And we are in the soup. About roughly uh, 20 nautical miles out. Not a very uh, fun looking day out there. There's another airport right there. Going to actually kind of lessen the uh, intercept angle here. Don't want to blow through our localizer. That would not be fun. Should be moving through here any second here. We're coming in really fast. There's our localizer. And we will just fly this right in. And we get the runway in sight, just like that. Wasn't a uh, super critical uh, approach, but yeah, kind of do need it nonetheless, so it was a help. Complete some airspeed off here. Help us slow down below 250 gears coming down. Tracked our air brake. Three green. Everything's looking good. Pretty sloppy approach here. You would not be doing this in real life. Whew. Lots of turbulence. A lot of turbulence. It's not even raining here. It's funny how that works. And we'll take this uh, taxiway off here at Delta. And our P3 boys should be back here pretty soon. Anyways, guys, if you guys liked what you saw, please feel free. Oops. Don't want to be putting our uh, AIM 9s on here. Just meant to hit our nose wheel steering button. Um, anyways, if you guys like what you saw, please feel free to uh, give me a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it means a lot to me. This is just kind of like a uh, in the moment kind of thing. Just kind of reminded me, you know, growing up down here, uh, going through hurricanes all the time in Florida, and uh, flying, and the uh, just sheer cojones that these guys have <laughs> flying into these storms, and how. I mean, it could feasibly happen in such a scenario like this with uh, a not-so-level-headed country in the close proximity of where a, you know, hurricane could be or a typhoon. So, anyways, just thought this would be a little cool little video. But, uh, yeah, look forward to more DCS videos coming out soon. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay safe out there.